ago, goblins and people were sometimes friends. That old man and the goblin look quite friendly, don't they? The scariest thing in the world. A long time ago, in a mountain village, lived an old man. He gathered wood to sell in the market. He was very poor. One day, the old man went into the yard to look at the big round moon. Uh, yeah, that moon is so bright. Ah. Suddenly, he heard something moving behind him. The old man thought it was his whiskery friend from the next village. He invited him into his house. Oh, hey, I'm happy to see you. I was lonely. Let's go inside and chat. Good idea, old man. Oh, no! What on earth? A goblin just followed the old man into the house. Uh, uh, what? G -g -g goblin? Don't be afraid, old man. I was lonely too. So I came by to chat with you. The old man and the goblin became friends. The old man wasn't lonely anymore. He had his goblin friend. Uh, my goblin friend. Thanks to you, I'm not bored anymore. Time flies when we talk like this. After a while, the old man began to worry. <sighs> Play with the goblin and you'll look like one. It's true. I'm starting to look like my friend. The old man decided to stop seeing his goblin friend. That night, the goblin visited the old man as usual. <laughs> Are you afraid of anything, my goblin friend? <laughs> of course, old man. E even a goblin is afraid of something. I'm really scared of animal blood. <gasps> the goblin trembled as though he'd just seen animal blood. Now the goblin asked the old man the same question. The old man had an idea. He said he was most afraid of gold. Huh? You're afraid of gold? Sure! Even the word scares me! Ooh. The goblin believed the old man. The next day, the old man came back from the village. He had a pot of cow blood. He poured the blood in the yard. <laughs> With this blood all around, the goblin won't come here anymore. That night, the goblin returned to the old man's house. He was frightened to see all the animal blood. Huh? Who did this? Old man! Old man! The goblin hurried into the house. He accidentally tripped over the pot. Blood spilled out. Wow! <laughs> The goblin ran away as fast as his legs would carry him. The old man saw him running and felt relieved.
But he also felt sad. He had lost his only friend. The next day, the goblin came to the old man's house. He was carrying a bag of gold. Here, here's what you dread the most, gold. I hope you have a terrible time with this. The goblin poured all the gold onto the floor. Then he quickly disappeared. Thanks to the goblin, I've become so rich. But he was my good friend. With the goblin's gold, the old man built a big house. But he always missed his goblin friend. I think the old man was happy to be rich, but he must have been very unhappy to lose his friend.